welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be showing you the makeup that I would have been doing for my recital this past weekend. I thought it'd be fun to obviously walk you through what I'm doing on my face, but also just talk about some fun memories that we've had. So I'm gonna get right into it because it takes a little bit of time. So for my stage makeup, I have three costumes. I have two class costumes and a solo, and I won't show them to you just in case we end up having some kind of show. If I can, I will base my whole look off of all three costumes if it's possible. But if not, I try to stick with something more neutral. So today I'm gonna be going with some nudes from the Nude Mood palette by ColourPop. So something that's like really important for me when it comes to doing my makeup and for a lot of other performers, I am sure, is making sure that you have makeup that's going to stay on through you sweating for a long time. We're definitely sweating a lot when we're on stage so having things that are matte things that are waterproof is really really important and convenient I also have put my hair up in a bun to resemble what my hair would have been like on recital weekend when you're doing stage makeup you want something that's going to pop something that's going to bring out your features I stick to stuff that's a little more on the neutral side especially because I have three costumes it's really hard to find something that matches perfectly perfectly with all three. My costumes this year, I can at least share the colors with you. Our point costume is this beautiful pastel like pinks and blues and lots of really shiny sequins. Our flat costume is kind of tribal-ish looking. Brown has some blues, some oranges, and then my solo costume is all bright blue. So I figured brown could kind of go with everything. So I teach our three and four year olds. I co-teach with my teacher and then I also teach middle to older elementary school age girls. It's so funny because I really don't wear makeup on my days off of my salon job. So a lot of times with our younger girls, they see me on rehearsal day and because I never wear makeup to class, they're like, whoa! Some of them like don't even recognize me at first, which is pretty funny. But then once I like say hi, like, oh, you look so pretty. Like they are like, oh, that's Miss Hannah. It's pretty cute to see them like realize like, oh, that's the same person that I see every single week. It's just fun to see their reactions. <laughs> Doing stage makeup is really just about packing it on and it looks crazy in real life, but one trick that's really, really, really awesome that I always use is lashes. 100% every single time. They don't have to be too intense, but they always just help to open up your eye. If you're not someone who really loves to go in on your eye makeup, that is one thing that can really, really help to make your eyes stand out. This would have been my 18th recital. Actually, technically my 17th because in high school I tore my ACL right at the beginning, like right before the season started and I was unable to dance in the recital that year but I did help behind the scenes. So our studio isn't a competing studio, we just do recitals. So my teacher really tries to just make the year be about having fun and learning and it's not so high stress compared to a studio that competes. So something that was really fun as I was growing up in the studio, one of my best friends, actually for a little while it was my two best girlfriends, we all danced at the studio. We danced together for many years in the same class. Sina danced with us when she was younger. So that was just a lot of fun getting to like have that thing in common with one of my best friends ever. Got to make a lot of memories through that. We were always running from musical rehearsal to ballet class together. <laughs> One of our moms would pick us up and drive us over to the studio because we had to be there in time for class. So yeah, that was always really special. I mean, I also had other friends that I made in class as well that I'm still connected with. So I have pretty much everything on my eyes done. I think I want to do some kind of shimmer um, inner part of my eye. I don't like to do too much glitter and shimmer for recital days so it's not like reflecting all in my eyes under the lights. That is not ideal, but kind of a little sparkle in there. So I'm just taking my brush that I was using to blend out before. There's not really any product on it anymore. Just kind of blending this all in. 
So next, I'm gonna just line my eyes and let that dry down. I kind of skip around when I'm doing my makeup for a show. I gotta do this and not talk, hold on. When I'm doing makeup for a show, I really jump all around my face because of the lashes. I try to get a lot of my face done before I'm putting the lashes on. Now I'm gonna move on to my face. So like I was saying, it's really important to have some kind of foundation that isn't already dewy. I have found that the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation has been like the perfect match for me when it comes to doing shows. I can sweat like a maniac through this and I have no issues. So that's great. When I'm doing my stage makeup, I normally just put the foundation right onto my face. I find that this foundation being that it's supposed to be matte and I'm using it in a way that I do not want it to move. And it's okay if it gets a little dry because I'm going to sweat. It is so hot on that stage. So I just let it be matte. I don't worry about the primer. So I brought a little bit just under my eyes, but I am gonna conceal those areas now with my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm trying to think if there are any other like really good stories. One recital, this was a couple years ago. One of my classmates and I did a duet together. The dance itself was absolutely hilarious. We did a song from Something Rotten. The song itself was a duet, so that was fun. We got to play around with it. We're both very character-y type people. <laughs> we just had so much fun with it. That was definitely one of my favorites. Now that I have done my under eyes, I set everything down pretty good. I'm going to move on to the... Um, so I'm gonna take this palette again. Okay, so it's time to move on to the lashes. I got these ones. I'm gonna do these, and I do these now because then I can do the rest of my face and I can make sure they're set on well. You want your falsies to stay through the entire show. That's very important. It's like the worst thing for any of you who wear false lashes, whether just on a daily basis or for special occasions or if you are a performer as well, you know how terrible it is when the corner is stabbing you in the eyeball. Okay, I'm not gonna judge too soon, but I already feel like I don't like these lashes. <laughs> when I take them off the thing, they're really, really straight across, like the band is, which makes it really hard to fit them to the curve of your eyeball. Luckily and unfortunately, these don't actually have to make it through a performance, so that one went on a lot easier. I don't on a regular basis like doing my bottom lashes because I have really long bottom lashes and I feel like they just look spidery. Like they look insane. I don't know if you can see how long they are, but they're long. So I'm not gonna do my top because I wanna let my lashes dry before I try to run any mascara through them. So I'm gonna finish up with my face and then head back to my eyes. So another funny story, our baby class last year was very crazy. They were all really, really young, like really, really young. We kept saying over and over again, this is gonna be the year that my teacher runs out on stage. You never know if a small child is going to run for the front of the stage. It didn't happen on rehearsal day, but on recital day, for one of their dances, they were supposed to like come off the stage towards me. And I don't think they were supposed to run. They were just supposed to walk off the stage. One of the girls starts to run and she didn't run like straight directly to my side of the stage. She kind of like beelined across and went around her classmate. And so my teacher on recital day ran out onto the stage because we're worried that this girl was gonna go running off the stage. You know, you never know. That was some fun and excitement. <laughs> really glad that she didn't run off the stage. You know, things like that. Just keep you on your toes. Keep you on your toes, ha <laughs> ha. Ballet joke. So one thing about stage makeup is you want to go pretty heavy on the blush, pretty heavy on the eyes and the lips. 
because you really want those parts of your face to stand out. Looks kind of crazy on its own, but you know, when you have these bright lights, you really don't notice it quite as much. So I think I may even go, this is a very soft pink. I'm gonna go in with something a little more vibrant. Hopefully I don't regret it. I actually like the combination of these two. I can't decide if I want to highlight at all. I feel like maybe just a little bit, like a little bit. Because like I said, those lights are so harsh and you're already sweaty. It's not like you're going to need a whole lot of extra glow and my blush is kind of glowy. So now I'm going to move back to my eyes and finish off my lashes. Oh, I didn't highlight my brow bone. I'm going to do that first. Just a little bit, nothing extreme. Like I said, you're already going to be shiny and sweaty. Now I'm gonna put my mascara on. You don't need a ton. It's more so just to blend your lashes all together with the falsies. Ugh. I just shoved my mascara wand into my eyeball. Oh my goodness. That is the worst feeling ever. Well, before I put my lipstick on, I will spray my face with a little bit of setting spray. I'm almost out of that and I'm so sad. And everything on ColourPop's website is like out of stock, which is also very sad, but also better for my bank account. But I am gonna go in with this hot pink color. It is very matte, which is also good for the stage. I feel like if you don't have something matte, it's just gonna feather and be all over your mouth by the end of the day. I wore this for our show last year and it was absolutely perfect. It stayed on amazing all day long, which is great because especially teaching, you don't have a lot of time to touch yourself up. I love how this turned out. Definitely still more on the natural side. It's not that like very harsh cakey makeup like you would think for stage makeup. It definitely still has a nice little bit of a glow, but my foundation is not going anywhere. I didn't even set it down because I feel like it does pretty well without that. This is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video at my studio. The past 18, 19 years there have been such a blast and I am so thankful that that has been part of my story. For any of the products that I didn't mention, I will leave them in the description below. A lot of them that weren't my foundation and my concealer were ColourPop products. Some of them are discontinued and a lot of them are out of stock, but whichever ones that are still part of their line, I will link down below. So so you can get them for yourself. ColourPop is really affordable and I highly recommend their stuff. I hope you enjoyed the look. I hope you enjoyed hearing some of my stories from over the years. If you have any specific like hair or makeup videos that you'd wanna see, let me know in the comments below. I think it'd be a lot of fun to incorporate that kind of stuff into my channel on a regular basis because that is such a big part of my life. If you have anything you wanna see, leave it in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe, like, and bell icon, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.